So check this out. You have a cube, right? And the cube is subdivided. Great. And now you want to grab one of these, you know, squares or two of them, and you want to extrude them down to maybe this level. And this happens. So a regular extrusion tool will not work. You will need to use something that's called manifold extrude. And this is coming with vanilla blender, but it's limited. So let me show you. So I'm going to select these two squares. I'm going to go to Alt E, which is an extrusion menu. That's vanilla menu and use this extrude manifold. And now I can extrude it properly, right? Now there are a few limitations of this tool. And by the way, you can go up and down. So you can extrude inwards and outwards. Now the limitation of this tool number one is that you cannot go past other topology because if you do that, you're going to have to clean them. You see, that's a problem, right? So that's problem number one. Number two, you got some tools available here. As you see on the bottom, you can slow it down with shift. You can snap it right to um, various elements, which in this case doesn't really work. Then you can rotate it for some reason. I don't know why, you know, why would you want to do that? You can scale them also doesn't make any sense and you can move them freely which also doesn't make any sense um, usually what you want to be doing is going to be using just a regular manifold extrude but you will want this kind of an ability to get past other topology without needing to clean it right so now there is a tool that can do this and it's built into those x machine tools so you would need to get the those x version and i suggest you do because it's amazing I have another video on machine tools I posted recently and I have two massive videos on machine tools I posted like a few years ago, I think two or three years ago. And some new tools appeared, but mostly the tools that were covered in, in these two videos are still valid. So you can learn a lot from these uh, from these videos. So, you know, go ahead and watch these. Uh, but what I want to show you is the punch it tool, right? And punch it tool. You can access from here from alt e menu uh, you can just assign a shortcut to it if you want to uh, but this one first of all is going to go through anything so you can go all the way down like this boom done right now the cool thing about this tool is that it has two stages okay so the stage number one is when you punch it so you determine the depth to which you want to go right and you click now once you extrude this, it's a good practice to clean your mesh with three, which is a machine tools cleanup. You can even enable faces as well, uh, because sometimes you may have some rogue topology being left over. Now, this tool is really cool because it allows you to, for example, extrude along edges. Uh, so, for example, if I had, let's say, um, this face was slanted, so Alt R with machine tools with the edge constraint and I'm going to grab this face and Alt E punch it and then E and I want to constrain it to this edge so you can do that. I can run it along the edge, which is something you can't do. And if you're going to see kind of like a messy geometry left over, just press W to clean it, then click and then you want to run a cleanup with three and you see it cleaned up some faces and then you're good to go. So you can do something like this, which is really cool. And that's where, you know, you start entering the um, the powerful world of punch it, which is way more interesting than the regular manifold extrude, right? In addition, you can grab multiple faces, obviously, you know, so you can do something like this, easy, right? And then W, boom. And, um, you know, you can do stuff like that. You can also extrude edges. So Alt E, manifold extrude, and you can extrude just an edge as well. So you can use an edge as an extrusion. So watch this. If I'm going to, for example, I cut this with a knife, right? Let's say I want to cut a shape like this here. Okay. Press A here and go like this, right? And, you know, um, and approve this. I can use this edge here as an extrusion. So Alt E punch it and boom, right? Which is pretty bloody cool. So it allows you to work really quickly and, um, you know, perform some really interesting extrusions. So now check this out. I'm going to grab this cube and let's subdivide it, right? Maybe, 
maybe grab this one and let's uh, let's uh, let's actually subdivide these, right? Cool. And we're gonna grab these, and we're going to punch them, all right, like this, right? And then I'm going to insert these, and then I'm going to punch these. So Alt E and punch them, right? Boom. And then I'm going to grab this face, right? And I'm going to punch it along this edge. So Alt E, punch it, right? And then E and go this way and do this. Then select this face, go to the top view and align it with machine tools align. Boom, right? So you can do some really crazy stuff once you combine all these tools together. Okay. So that will be punch it and manifold extrude, but I want to show you one more trick. But before I do, you know, these are all basic tools for modeling in Blender. And if you, you know, the more tools like this, you know, the better for you and the, the faster and the easier you're going to be able to model. And so uh, you can learn the, all these tools very easily by following our course the hard service accelerator link to the course is in the video description and in the comment pinned underneath the video so go ahead and you know check it out uh, so going back here i want to show you one more thing which is pretty cool i just can't stop playing with this tool it's so cool there's some crazy stuff man um i want to show you one more thing so the tool has a limitation and the limitation is going to be a cyclic uh, selection so if i select these right I can't use punch it on the cyclic selection, but what you could do, you could use RTM macro here with hard ups. So uh, as long as it's not on the edge, because if it's on the edge, it will not work. So if I, for example, grab these, right. And went RTM macro, it's going to leave these faces. So in case like this, my blender crashed, uh, in case like this, you would need to basically go with the, uh, with the punch it, right. So you need to kind of, you know, make sure that you know which tool to go with in which situation, uh, because some tools will not work in certain situations. So again, if you're using a cyclic selection, you want to go with RTM macro from Hardobs, but this one will not work on, you know, on the, on the outside faces. So if you have something like this and you want to, you know, punch it, it's not going to work. Right. But in this case, you're probably going to go GZ, you know what I mean? So. Again, it's kind of like juggling all these tools in your head. And the best way to learn these tools is going to be following a structured workflow, which again is very well fleshed out in our course, the hard surface accelerator, which in just two weeks learning not longer than 30 minutes a day, you can easily master the basics of blender and, you know, start having some proper fun with all these tools and the knowledge that you gained. The link to the course is in the video description and in the comment pinned under the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.